All right, I'm in my 2017 four-door long bed V6 four-wheel drive Toyota Tacoma. So pretty much the biggest Tacoma that you can buy. Um, and I'm doing a video on the Orange Virus tune. I got this tune because my truck shifts too much, especially um, in cruise control in hilly terrain. So let's get right into it. Um, Orange Virus says that their tune will improve your fuel economy slightly, that it'll give you a little bit more engine power, and it'll resolve that shifting issue. Um, the issue is so bad that Toyota actually did a recall on this truck, and I had that done, and it still was a mess. And what it does is any, any slight variation in the terrain in your truck is going to shift rapidly between um, sixth and fourth gear, and it's going to go back and forth um, while you're in that terrain to the point where it's, for me, it was very obnoxious. So the Toyota recall did not resolve it. Um, my wife got me the orange virus tune for my birthday about six months ago. I had it put in the truck for $400. Thank you, honey. The results of that, um, the fuel economy hasn't changed. Um, and my driving habits have not changed at all. I'm kind of a, 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 well, I'm not kind of, I'm a very conservative driver. Um, but I have not noticed any difference at all in fuel economy. Um, engine power, maybe a slight difference, but honestly, I'm not the right person to, to gauge that. Because like I say, I'm a very conservative driver. And the truck, to me, had adequate power from the factory. Um, if you want a more powerful uh, vehicle, you probably picked the wrong truck getting a Tacoma. Um, they just kind of like got enough power to get the job done. Um, there are other tunes out there that address uh, the engine power. Uh, and I would probably pursue that. You're going to spend a little bit more on the tune. But if that's your um, issue, that's the route to go. Don't get the orange virus tune if you want to increase power. Um, and then the transmission shifting. Um, I'm happy to report that it worked um, without the cruise control on this vehicle shifts completely normal like it should have shifted from the factory um absolutely perfect shifting with the cruise control on it resolved probably 85 90 percent of the shifting issue um still a slightly obnoxious shift um when you get in more aggressive hilly area but you can almost like expect it you know it's like within the bracket of normal i would say so Long story short, I would do it again. Um, but like I say, the, the primary issue for me was the shifting. Um, and it kind of resolved that. Um, that's it. Short video outside of my normal content. But um, after looking at a whole bunch of other YouTube videos on this topic, people were not really covering it in a way that I thought was thorough and, I guess, conservative, well-balanced. I don't know. If you like the video, don't forget the thumbs up. You guys have a good one.